The NFL playoffs are underway, and today we'll take a look at the 10 craziest moments in NFL history. Music City Miracle 2000 The play occurred during an NFL playoff game on January 8, 2000 between the Buffalo Bills and the Tennessee Titans. The game took place at Adelphia Coliseum in Nashville, Tennessee. In the closing moments of the AFC wildcard game, the Buffalo Bills were leading the Tennessee Titans 16-5 with just 16 seconds left on the clock. The Titans were set to receive a kickoff after a successful field goal by the Bills that put them ahead. The Titans needed a miracle to win the game, and that's exactly what happened. Lorenzo Neal, a Titans player, received the kickoff and immediately handed the ball off to Frank Wycheck. Wycheck then threw a lateral pass across the field to Kevin Dyson, who took the ball and ran down the sideline for a 75-yard touchdown. He's got something. He's got something. He's got it. He's got it. 20, 10, He's got it. End zone. Touchdown, Titans. There are no flags. The play became known as the Music City Miracle due to its occurrence in Nashville, often referred to as Music City. The Titans' miraculous play resulted in a 22-16 victory over the Bills. However, the lateral pass from Wychik to Dyson sparked controversy and debate, as some argued that it might have been an illegal forward pass. The officials reviewed the play and ultimately determined that it was legal, sealing the Titans' dramatic comeback. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. It was a lateral. The Music City Miracle remains one of the most memorable moments in NFL playoff history, and the game itself is often cited as one of the most exciting and improbable finishes in the league's history. Beastquake 2011 This moment refers to a memorable and seismic touchdown run by Marshawn Lynch, a running back for the Seattle Seahawks during an NFC wildcard playoff game against the New Orleans Saints on January 8, 2011. The game took place at Quest Field, now Lumen Field in Seattle. In the first rounds of the playoffs, the Seahawks, with a 7-9 regular season record, faced the defending Super Bowl champion New Orleans Saints. The Seahawks were considered underdogs, and expectations were low for their postseason performance. Later in the fourth quarter, with the Seahawks leading 34-30, Marshawn Lynch made an incredible 67-yard touchdown run that would become known as the Beast Quick. Lynch broke several tackles, showcasing his incredible strength and determination. The run electrified the crowd at Quest Field, and the seismic activity generated by the fan celebration during the play registered on nearby seismographs. The term Beastquake was coined because of the seismic activity caused by the crowd's reaction to Lynch's run. The Seahawks ultimately won the game 41-36, and the Beastquake run became an iconic moment in NFL history, symbolizing Lynch's powerful and determined running style. Mile High Miracle the dramatic play that occurred between an AFC Divisional Playoff game in January 12, 2013 between the Baltimore Ravens and the Denver Broncos. The game took place at the Sports Authority Field at Mile High in Denver, Colorado. Later in the fourth quarter with the Ravens trailing 35-28 and, and facing a critical third and three situation, quarterback Joe Flacco launched a deep pass from his own 30-yard line to wide receiver Jacoby Jones. The pass was completed for a 70-yard touchdown with just 31 seconds remaining in regulation. The play not only tied the game at 35-35, and 35, but also forced the contest into overtime. The Mile High Miracle was a remarkable moment in NFL history as it showcased Flacco's clutch performance and Jones' ability to come down with a critical catch. The Ravens went on to win the game 38-35 and 35 in double overtime, advancing to the AFC Championship game and eventually winning Super Bowl 47. Minneapolis Miracle 2018 The Minneapolis Miracle refers to a stunning and unforgettable play that occurred during an NFC Divisional Playoff game on January 14, 2018 between the Minnesota Vikings and the New Orleans Saints. The game took place at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, Minnesota. With just 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter and the Vikings trailing 24-23, they faced a third and 10 situation from their own 39-yard line. Quarterback Case Keenum connected with wide-range receiver Stephon Diggs on a deep pass along the right sideline. Diggs caught the ball, managed to stay inbounds, and then raced to the end zone for a 61-yard touchdown as time expired. The Minneapolis Miracles secured a 29-24 victory over the Vikings and advanced them to the NFC Championship game. The play was particularly remarkable not only for its late-game heroics, but also for the unlikely and dramatic nature of the touchdown. Diggs' reception and the subsequent touchdown became an iconic moment in NFL playoff history. The Fumble, 1987 
Let's talk about an epic failure that occurred during the AFC Championship game on January 17, 1988 between the Cleveland Browns and the Denver Broncos. The game took place at Cleveland Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. In the waning moments of the fourth quarter, with the Browns trailing the Broncos 38-31, they were in a position to tie the game. The Browns had driven down to the Denver 8-yard line with just over a minute left to play. Quarterback Bernie Kozer handed the ball off to running back Ernest Biner, who seemed to be poised to score a touchdown. However, as Biner was on the verge of crossing the goal line, he fumbled the ball at the third yard line. The loss was especially devastating for Cleveland fans as it denied the team a chance to reach the Super Bowl. Friends, without your likes, this year's playoffs will be difficult to become legendary. Subscribe to our channel and watch our new videos. The Fog Bowl, 1988 one of the toughest NFL playoff games was played on December 31, 1988 between the Chicago Bears and the Philadelphia Eagles at Soldier Field in Chicago. This NFC Divisional playoff game is notable for the dense fog that enveloped the stadium during the second quarter, severely limiting visibility for players, coaches, and spectators. The fog rolled in from Lake Michigan, and by the second quarter, visibility on the field became extremely poor. The broadcasters struggled to capture clear images, and fans in the stands had difficulty seeing the action. The players on the field could only see a short distance ahead, making it challenging to execute plays. Despite the challenging conditions, the game continued. The Bears ultimately won 20-12, advancing to the NFC Championship game. The Ice Bowl, 1967 one more game with difficult weather conditions took place in the 1967 NFL Championship between the Green Bay Packers and the Dallas Cowboys on December 31st at Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. The temperature kickoff was around negative 13 Fahrenheit or negative 25 Celsius with a wind chill factor that made it feel even colder. The extreme cold caused the fields to freeze, making playing conditions exceptionally challenging for the players. The game was the culmination of the NFL season and determined which team would represent the league in Super Bowl II. The Cowboys and the Packers battled in an intense and closely contested match with just seconds left in the game. The Packers were trailing 17-14 and, and faced a third and goal situation at the Cowboys' first yard line. In a legendary play, Packers quarterback Bart Starr executed a quarterback sneak, diving over the goal line behind a block by guard Jerry Kramer. The Packers won 21-17, and securing their spot in Super Bowl II. Finally, we would like to tell you about some crazy plays in the main playoff game, the Super Bowl. The Philly Special, 2018. It was a trick play executed by the Philadelphia Eagles during Super Bowl 52 on February 4, 2018. The Eagles faced the New England Patriots in the championship game, which took place at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Late in the second quarter, with the Eagles facing a critical fourth and goal situation at the one-yard line, they ran a play that caught everyone by surprise. Rather than attempting a standard play, quarterback Nick Foles moved to the line of scrimmage as if he was going to call an audible. The ball was then directly snapped to running back Corey Clement, who ran to the left side and handed the ball off to tight end Trey Burton. Meanwhile, Foles, who had initially lined up as the quarterback, slipped into the end zone as receiver. Burton, a former college quarterback, threw a pass to Foles, who caught the ball for a special touchdown. The successful execution of this trick play, known as the Philly Special, contributed to the Eagles' 41-33 victory over the Patriots, securing their first Super Bowl championship in franchise history. The Butler did it, 2015. This case was a crucial play in Super Bowl 49 between the New England Patriots and the Seattle Seahawks, played on February 1, 2015. The term is a play on the classic mystery novel and the play trope where the butler is often revealed as the culprit. In this case, it humorously refers to the rookie quarterback, Malcolm Butler, who made a game-changing interception in the final moments of the game. The Seahawks were trailing the Patriots 28-24 and with less than a minute remaining in the fourth quarter. They had driven down to the Patriots' first yard line and were in a prime position to score a game-winning touchdown. On second and goal from the one-yard line with 26 seconds left in the game, Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson attempted to pass a wide receiver, Ricardo Lockett. However, the undrafted rookie cornerback Malcolm Butler, who had been inserted into the game for that specific play, made a quick read and intercepted Wilson's pass at the goal line. Malcolm Butler's interception became an iconic moment in Super Bowl history, and he went from being a relatively unknown rookie to a hero in New England. The James White Overtime Touchdown Super Bowl 51, 2017. That was the final play during Super Bowl 51, which took place on February 5, 2017, between the New England Patriots and the Atlanta Falcons at NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. 
Super Bowl 51 was a historic matchup that saw the Patriots making a comeback from a 28-3 deficit in the second half. In the overtime period, which the tie scored at 28-28, the Patriots had the ball first. Running back James White played a crucial role in the drive. On the second play of overtime, quarterback Tom Brady completed a 15-yard pass to Danny Amendola, moving the Patriots into Falcons territory. Then, in a series of plays, White contributed both rushing and receiving ends, bringing the Patriots closer to the end zone. Finally, from the second-yard line, White received a handoff from Brady and rushed into the end zone, scoring a two-yard touchdown. The touchdown sealed the Patriots' 34-28 victory over the Falcons and marked the first time in Super Bowl history that the game had gone into overtime. If you want to know more about the most emotional moments in the NFL, follow the link.